friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new vlog, another week in my life. I am going to focus on maintaining the routine that I have set for myself. Lifting two to three times a week, yoga, and I'm adding swimming in, which will be starting tomorrow on Monday. Very, very excited about that. And I also want to focus on getting some reading done. I have so many books that I want to read that aren't part of like specific videos or anything like that, but I just want to read them. Uh, I just want to get through them. And I have a ton of historical romances that I got from my library that are all due around the same time. And I just like am in the reading mood. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling high spirited. I want to read all of the books. I want to watch all of the shows and I'm feeling great. I am currently watching and have spent the entire day watching Blue Blood. Wait, is that what it's called? True Blood. True Blood. <laughs> um, I have watched, tried to watch the show previously, and I just decided to give it another shot. I'm in a vampire romance mood, uh, so I started where I left off, which was the fifth episode of the first season. I am now on episode nine, and I'm liking it a lot more than I did originally. It's just gotten better as the show has gone on. There's definitely still some, like, really corny moments and some moments where the acting is not the best. Basically, a vampire romance set in Louisiana in this small town and the world knows about vampires. The main character, Suki, she can read people's minds and she has a romance with a vampire and gets like enmeshed in the vampire world. And we're also following a couple of other points of view of people in the town. Lots of drama, lots of stuff going on, lots of craziness, and I'm liking it so far. Like, obviously, I've read, I've watched so many episodes just in one sitting and I'm really enjoying it. So, I'm also re reading some historical romances. I'm still reading Bombshell from my last video, but we'll talk about that when I get a little bit further in because I don't have any like new thoughts. So that's the plan. The plan for the week is I'm going to go tomorrow after work to swim for the first time. I'll give you guys some thoughts on the experience. Um, and then hopefully I'll be able to come home and maybe either lift or or do some yoga and that's kind of the pattern that I want to follow just going forward is like lifting swimming yoga all of that in addition to keeping up with side business and my hobbies I just want to have like a really simple routine that is easy to follow that makes me feel good and that's kind of the groove that I want to get into so that's my week. That's my plans for the week. I'm just going to take it as it is and go from there. So it is Sunday. I probably am not going to do a ton of vlogging for the rest of the day. I'm going to continue to watch uh, True Blood until my partner gets home. We have some side business tasks to do and then I'll probably read until I go to bed. He doesn't work tomorrow so he does his gaming and all that fun stuff and I go to bed on time. So we'll probably talk tomorrow. Welcome to the vlog. I really hope you guys enjoy it. and I feel so good. I, it definitely took some getting some adjustments because I haven't swam in so long, but oh, I feel so good. Good morning, friends. Happy Wednesday. Yesterday was not a good day. It was the first day of my, the emotional side of my PMDD episode. And I was not with it. I was very irritable. I tried to do a workout and then I ended up doing a Pilates video, which was nice. But during it, we were doing like a burpees variation and I fucked up my ankle. And now I think that I'm going to not be able to work out until it's back to an acceptable level, which sucks because I wanted to go swimming today. Um, it was really nice to go swimming on Monday. I really, really, really enjoyed it. Once I got into the rhythm, it was very nice. And I'm already ready to get back into it. So 
I'm pretty excited to get to it, but I don't want to push myself if I'm feeling very sore or my ankle is messed up. So I think I'm just going to wait. Hopefully on Friday afternoon I'll be able to go. But I have just not been feeling my best emotionally. I had therapy yesterday and we talked about some stuff and I cried and I've just been feeling a little bit down and I don't want to get too into it because I don't want to cry but I was hoping that like the exercise and the meds and the eating different and all of that would improve something and it just hasn't and it's really incredibly so and frustrating and it's it's like I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to do. I'm eating better. I'm taking meds. I'm working out every day. Like every day I'm doing the stuff that I'm supposed to be doing and nothing is making a difference. And it's so just, it's just, it's a lot. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. And I don't know. I don't want to read. I don't want to watch anything. I just don't even want to like, think I don't want to do anything so I ended up finishing bombshell which was what I was reading in my last video um the historical romance my camera's dying I don't feel like switching the battery out but I gave it four stars I really liked it their relationship was very tender and a lot of the scenes between them um were like making my heart hurt which I love in a romance especially in historical there's just something so tender and intimate about historical romance that I love so much so despite still feeling like I was missing a little bit of the relationship just from things that had happened in other books I thought I would do a bit of an update. It is now 3.43 on Wednesday and I got home from work a little bit early. I decided to leave a little bit early and I came home and I got in bed and I took a nap. <laughs> um, I'm currently listening to the audiobook of book one in um, the book series that we don't talk about don't worry that author is not getting any of my money um, for me listening to the audiobook but I just needed it you know sometimes you just need it and it's it hit the spot I was able to fall asleep the audiobook narrator is great um, and so it's just exactly what I needed I think and now I don't really know what I want to do I still am not like really feeling my best my mood has definitely improved, but I'm just feeling a little bit uneasy. I feel a little bit like something could set me over the edge, which uh, is unfortunate, but I had my frustrations this morning and I got a lot of it out just like getting mad about it. Um, and so I'm feeling a little bit, a little bit better. So I think I'm gonna watch True Blood for the rest of the evening and at some point I need to start dinner. I am into the second season. I think I'm on like episode three or four of the second season. I started watching True Blood last weekend, I think. I just decided to start re-watching it because I'd watched it previously and I didn't really like it. Did I say all of this in this vlog or not? I don't remember, but I'm liking it a way more. It's definitely way better than it was the acting is getting better and i'm kind of viewing it as like a vampire soap opera and it's definitely improved my outlook on it like the acting is not great there's definitely some like corniness to it and some of the plot lines are like 
questionable and weird but it's definitely getting better and i have the audiobooks of all of the books they are free if you have an audible subscription and so i'm debating if i want to stop watching the show to listen to the audiobooks because i do want to read the books um or if i should just continue the show i haven't decided i'm definitely liking it i think that Suki and Bill's relationship isn't my favorite and I'm hoping that she has a relationship with someone else. I don't really like Bill. He's sort of boring and just right now like their relationship is not that interesting to me. Like they're together at this point and there's they're dealing with like vampire drama but there isn't like a ton going on in their relationship and that's sort of boring but there's like town stuff that's going on there's definitely some characters that i'm interested in their storyline and where it's going to go there's some characters that i just don't like have never liked jason is like one of the worst characters in my opinion his actor is fantastic but the character itself not so much not really interested in his like jesus saves slay all vampires we hate vampires sort of story i'm just not interested in it but all of the other storylines i'm pretty interested in the redhead what's her name the fact that she was turned at 17 is a little bit like you know especially because she's like starting to have romances with adults but i'm liking it so far it's like entertaining and it's keeping me hooked and I can sit down and like watch the whole episode and not really think about anything else. I'm not pushing myself to do a workout today. I didn't go swimming after work and I'm not gonna do anything else. If like my back pain gets significantly worse, I might do some yoga tonight. But other than that, I'm just vegging out. Like I'm gonna make myself my afternoon coffee, decaf, get in this bed and get comfy and cuddle up with Bane and the rest of the evening doing that until my partner gets home. I'm alone in the office for the rest of the week. So like the rest of my work week is easy peasy. So yeah, I wanted to give a little bit of an update. My mental well-being has improved. There's still a lot of the frustration and the annoyance and just like the anger at the unfairness of it i don't want to sit in it i want to get to the acceptance phase and it's been over a year at this point and i'm not there and i know that's okay and i know that it's something i'll be working on for the rest of my life but that doesn't make it any easier and it doesn't make the process of getting to acceptance any easier and i don't even know if there will be an acceptance at the end of this obviously like the autism the adhd all of that doesn't go away ever like i'll die with that but that's a little bit it's different i feel like that's a that's a grief and acceptance process that's a little bit different than this anyways i don't want to get back in that cycle of thought process again so i'm going to get back and chilling in my bed, enjoying the rain. It's supposed to rain for the rest of the day, rest of the week, watch my true blood, cuddle with my cats, and drink a hot beverage and enjoy the rest of my day, so. It sneezed a couple of sparks flew out of its head. Thursday friends I am feeling much much better today I wasn't feeling my best this morning when I woke up I was still very tired did manage to get some side business work done this morning and also I swam uh, and came home and relaxed so I've been finding a nice balance between working out and relaxing which honestly like three weeks ago when i started this whole journey that was the hardest part of this whole thing for me is like finding a balance and i have realized that over the past couple of weeks it's just kind of become a habit a routine to do something two months ago that concept would have been unimaginable for me and i think that's so cool like the idea that i don't have to think about 
it anymore is just great. Obviously, I still have the moments where I would rather be reading in bed or whatever, but the fact that I am taking 30 to 45 minutes out of, out of my day to do a free thing, and it's making the moments of relaxing that much better because I'm not constantly running through negative self-talk the whole time, that's been the best benefit for me, in my opinion. And I think that's the thing that has helped my mood so much. Just knowing that I don't need to feel guilty. I, I don't think you should be feeling guilty regardless of whether you exercise that day or not. Like, you shouldn't feel guilty for just existing however you feel, however you show up for yourself. However you show up in your life. Whether you're working out, whether you're not, whether you never move an inch a day in your life, um, you shouldn't feel guilty at all ever for existing and for living but I was actively in a place where I felt bad and I knew what I needed to do to feel better and I wasn't and that would make me feel guilty so yeah that's just a nice little thing that I have noticed over the past couple of days is like how easy it is to not only get myself in the mindset the habit of moving every day but also relaxing like yesterday I didn't do any movement at all and I didn't feel bad and that has been such a great mental thing so I feel great and like I did feel a little bit guilty only doing 30 minutes in the pool today but I'm not doing that any any movement at all is good any any time I'm getting my heart rate up any time I'm Getting out of my comfort zone is good. I'm I'm feeling good about that. Mood-wise, I was definitely, like, my mood has definitely improved as the day has gone on. But I'm still not 100% there. Yesterday, I was so, I felt so bad that I just, like, went nonverbal at one point. And, like, my partner calls me periodic, periodically through the day because he works 12s. And so, like, I'll be off work and he's still at work and he'll call me and we'll just talk. And I just didn't even want to talk. And it just like, I get to that point sometimes if I'm so overwhelmed of my own racing, by my own racing thoughts, that I just don't want to talk anymore. And I got to that level yesterday. So thankfully today I'm feeling a lot better and I can just relax for the rest of the day. I ended up starting a couple of things after I finished Bombshell. I don't even know if I've told you guys about Bombshell yet, but I finished that. And then I also started Quicksilver, which I guess is a pretty popular romanticy going around right now. I'm only 8% of the way through. It's 670 pages. This seems to be a um, romanticy about a woman who lives in a kingdom that's like made of like a wheel and it has like spokes of a wheel and each quarter is like named a specific thing and she lives in the third quarter or the second quarter and where she lives is completely quarantined and I believe there's an illness that they have basically quarantined off and the queen has just like left them to die basically they're policed but not a ton and they have made it pretty inescapable for the people that are living in the third and they've also made it so the people that aren't there can't really get in but the heroine uh obviously can traverse she has figured out a way to go in and out and in the beginning of the novel she has a run-in with a guard and she steals a gold-plated piece of his armor and they track her down and she ends up getting taken in to the queen's castle. Um, and that's where I was left off. I don't know who the hero is. We've been introduced to a character who I think is the hero because we said his name 50,000 times. And he was like the most beautiful, broad chested, broad shouldered, broody guy. And so as a seasoned romanticy reader, we can assume that's who the hero is, but I don't know for sure. I didn't, I haven't heard anything about this book. I know that it's popular, but I haven't heard any, I haven't listened to anybody talk about it, and I didn't read the synopsis. So I'm going in hoping that it's really good. I'm in a romanticy mood after all of the historical romance that I've been reading. So I'm hoping that it's something that I can just sink my teeth into. And then I also want to read. 
it's like um, Pumpkin Spice Cafe or something like that. I know this is another popular novel going around right now for the fall season. I think it's like a cozy mystery romance situation. Uh, the Pumpkin Spice Cafe, yeah. And I would like to read that to get into the fall spirit. Admittedly, it's still like 70 to 80 degrees here every single day, so it doesn't feel like fall. But the leaves are starting to change, and I'm just ready to embrace the fall spirit. I haven't even broken my Halloween decorations out yet, because I just want to savor fall a little bit longer because usually if I break my decorations out like early August like I have been by Halloween I'm ready for them to be gone so I want to wait until like August October 1st break them out and then have them up until like Thanksgiving but I want to still get into the fall spirit I still want to get into the mood so I'm hoping that that pumpkin spice cafe or whatever will be fun. Right now I'm going to focus on Quicksilver and get more of that red. I have the rest of the weekend to myself. I do work tomorrow but it's Friday. I need to start some other reading, some books for other reading vlogs. So I'm trying to like wrap up all of the things that I'm currently reading before I get to that, before I start that because I don't want anything hanging over, you know. So I'm hoping to wrap up these two in this vlog and I hope I enjoy them so that I have a clean slate going into the two reading vlogs that I need to film. But that being said, I'm gonna get back into it. Happy Saturday, friends. This morning, I ended up finishing the Pumpkin Spice Cafe. I spent the majority of last night reading it, and I just finished it this morning. It's like 10 o'clock. I really liked this. I thought it was very sweet. It's very soft and cozy. I do believe that it is inspired by Gilmore Girls, just based on the vibes. I think this is supposed to be like Stars Hollow. I believe the pen name is like Lori, Lorelai Gilmore or whatever, but I liked it. I think it was sweet. It's not anything crazy. It's just about a woman moving to a small town, taking over her aunt's or grandmother's coffee shop and like getting acclimated to this town and falling for a local farmer who supplies the 
local produce and all of that but I understand people who really love it for like the fall feeling it definitely feels like a small town very cute and quaint around fall sort of situation I thought it was again very cute it does have a couple of mystery plot lines but I wouldn't say it's like a mystery like it's not a cozy mystery I would say it's more just like slice of life with a romance and a little bit of mystery. And then I also got about 20% of the way through uh, Quicksilver. I am still liking this. It's gone in a direction that I wasn't anticipating. Um, she's sort of been transported to a fey realm, which is interesting. And it's reminding me, the reading experience is reminding me very much of, what is that? series uh gilded and all of those i like the beginning of that series but this is reminding me more of like later on in the series those sort of feelings and i'm liking it so far i think i'm gonna spend probably the rest of the weekend reading it and i'm enjoying it it could be a new favorite it could just be mediocre we'll see it has 600 pages to convince me so that's it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you had a lovely week i would love to talk down below on anything that i read or what you read this week or just how your week went in general don't forget to subscribe if you like more videos like this i do cozy vlogs but i also do reading vlogs and pop culture content really just anything that i have a mind to talk about all of my socials are linked down below. I'm trying to be more active on on Instagram, so if you're interested in following me there, it is down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Mm -hmm.